the pull-in test. Apply voltage to terminals 50 and C of the magnetic switch. If the pull-in coil operates normally, the pinion gear will move outward. Now we'll apply voltage. As you can see, the pinion gear moved outward. This is the pull-in test procedure. Next, the hold-in test. Follow the same procedure as for the pull-in test to pull the plunger. Disconnect terminal C and check that the plunger remains pulled. As you can see, it remained pulled. This proves that the hold-in coil is operating normally. Finally, let's look at the no-load test procedure for the reduction type starter motor. The connection procedure is the same as for the conventional type. Apply the battery voltage directly and complete the test as quickly as possible. Before starting the test, confirm the location of terminals 30 and 50 on the reduction starter motor. The procedures for both load and no load tests for the planetary type starter motor are essentially the same as for the conventional and reduction types. The starter motor's function is to induce initial engine combustion. The driving force for this function is the battery. The starter motor does not operate if the battery does not supply sufficient voltage to crank the engine. The starter motor consists of three mechanisms, electric motor, power transmission mechanism, and magnetic switch. In this video, we've shown the construction, operation, and inspection procedures for these mechanisms. Be sure to strengthen your understanding of what you have learned about the starting system in this video by studying the relevant training manual.